in music using the 12-tone technique. Combinatoriality is a quality shared by 12 tone tone rows whereby each section of a row and a proportionate number of its transformations combine to form aggregates. Much as the pitches of an aggregate created by a tone row do not need to occur simultaneously, the pitches of a combinatorially created aggregate need not occur simultaneously. Arnold Schoenberg, creator of the 12-tone technique, often combined P0-I5 to create two aggregates between the first hexachords of each and the second hexachords of each, respectively. Combinatoriality is a side effect of derived rows, where the initial segment or set may be combined with its transformations to create an entire row. Derivation refers to a process whereby, for instance, the initial trichord of a row can be used to arrive at a new, derived row by employing the standard 12-tone operations of transposition, inversion, retrograde, and retrograde inversion. Combinatorial properties are not dependent on the order of the notes within a set, but only on the content of the set and combinatoriality may exist between three tetrachordal and between four trichordal sets, as well as between pairs of hexachords and six dyads. A complement in this context is half of a combinatorial pitch class set and most generally it is the other half of any pair including pitch class, sets, textures, or pitch range. Definition most generally complementation is the separation of pitch class collections into two complementary sets, one containing the pitch classes not in the other. More restrictively complementation is the process of pairing entities on either side of a center of symmetry. The term combinatorial appears to have been first applied to 12-tone music by Milton Babbitt in 1950 when he published a review of René Leibowitz's books Schoenberg A son echo all and Q.U.E.S.T.C. E.Q.U. La musique de deux sons. Babbitt also introduced the term derived row, hexachordal combinatoriality. There are four main types of combinatoriality. A hexachord may be prime combinatorial, retrograde combinatorial, inversional combinatorial, retrograde inversional combinatorial, and thus, semi-combinatorial, all combinatorial, transpositional combinatoriality is the lack of shared pitch classes between a hexachord and one or more of its transpositions, for example, 02468T, and its transposition up one semitone, 13579E, have no notes in common. Retrograde hexachordal combinatoriality is considered trivial, since any set has retrograde hexachordal combinatoriality with itself. Inversional combinatoriality is a relationship between two rows, a principal row and its inversion. The principal row's first half or six notes are the inversion's last six notes, though not necessarily in the same order. Thus, the first half of each row is the other's complement. The same conclusion applies to each row's second half as well, when combined. These rows still maintain a fully chromatic feeling and don't tend to reinforce certain pitches as tonal centers as might happen with freely combined rows. For example, the row from Schoenberg's Moses and Aaron above contains 014567. This inverts to 0E8765, add 3 equals 2389T. 014567. First hexachord P0, second hexachord I32389 T, second hexachord P0 over 1 of a stone hexachord I3 complete chromatic scale retrograde inversional combinatoriality is a lack of shared pitches between the hexachords of a row and its retrograde inversion. Babbitt also described the semi-combinatorial row and the all-combinatorial row, the latter being a row which is combinatorial with any of its derivations and the transpositions. Semi-combinatorial sets are sets whose hexachords are capable of forming an aggregate with one of its basic transformations transposed. There are 12 hexachords that are semi-combinatorial by inversion only. 
E-T-8-7-5-2-0-1-3-4-6-8-E-T-8-7-5-2-0-1-3-4-6-9-E-T-8-7-5-2-0-1-3-5-7-9-E-T-8-6-4-2-0-1-3-5-8-9-7-6-
They may therefore be the earliest records in music history. A compilation of Steinbauer's morphological material has in parts become publicly available in 1960 with his script Lehr Butch der Klang Ray Heng composition and was reprinted in 2001. Trichordal Combinatoriality Trichordal combinatoriality is a row's ability to form aggregates through the combination of trichords. Trichordal combinatoriality involves the simultaneous presentation of four rows in parcels of three PCS. The existence of trichordal combinatoriality, or any other form, in a row does not preclude the existence of other forms of combinatoriality. All trichordally derived rows possess trichordal combinatoriality.